Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm your instructor Joy. Let me first play a tune for you. Today we're going to talk about a technique, left hand technique called glissando. Some people distinguish glissando and portamento, but I will talk all under glissando and I'll go into that very soon. But before I start, I would like to thank you all for your kind support, sending me donations, sending me nice questions, comments, and booking lessons with me, also supporting me on Patreon. I really, really appreciate. So now, when it comes to um, sliding notes, from one note to the next, where they're going up, going down, this term we call it glissando. Some people distinguish glissando from portamento depending how strongly you emphasize those these sliding notes. When you're more emphasized, some call it glissando. When it's less, we call sometimes we call it portamento. But in music world, it's not always that clear, at least a world that I know of. So I will just consider all under glissando. When it comes to glissando, uh, when it comes to notation of glissando, sometimes you see glissando written uh, all the spelled out, or gliss with a dot, or sometimes you see from one note to the next with a long line going up or down or sometimes in that line you see a zigzagging going up or zigzag little note going down so that's a notation but we sometimes choose it to glissando not because the music says so even though there's nothing about it we choose to do uh, glissando because that brings certain tone color so um let's say the beginning of seashell there's no sign of glissando or anything um, but I like to do a glissando using the same finger and then also coming down. I find that when I do that, um, like the topic uh, or the title of the song is seashell, it sounds like a, the tide coming in, tide coming out, or the water waving to the right and left. It creates that kind of mood. So I choose to do that one. If, I'm going to show you if I played it without glissando, this is how it sounds. Sorry? The notes are same, but the mood is not same, isn't it? So that's why we sometimes to choose to play with a glissando, to, to use it as an expressive tool. Now, uh, when it comes to glissando technique, just like shifting, it's very important that you leave the finger on the string but shift it with a light fingertip. Um, so it's not, not too light until it whistles, that's maybe too light. But you have to understand that if the fingertip is too heavy, it's going to be a little hard to slide it. That's not impossible, but it's a little harder. There is an accented glissando, something called. It's a type of glissando that requires a little more firmer one, which is something like that. That comes later. But we're talking about just normal glissando without accent, and also more to use as a ex emotional musical uh, musical uh, expression, right? So in order to do that. So make sure when you slide it, keep the fingertip not too heavy, but a little on the light side, just slight enough that you can slide it, but without whistling. Because if you lift up too much, this whistles. That, that you don't want that here. So that you can slide enough. So if you're having a hard time sliding the finger, sometimes flatting the fingertip a bit more, it's going to be easier to slide it instead of complete standing like this. The reason being is, you know, by flattening your fingertip, you're just giving a little more room, space, or more surface to slide with, like that, yeah? I like to do that, especially when I go down. I find it much easier. 
in der Ose hier. I'm going to the flower. Yeah, so it then it gives nice tone. I find it it's just like a perfect tight expression. So now, but also we have to be careful. This glissando gives a beautiful uh, tone color, beautiful character, but it's still a little spice of music, meaning don't overdo it. Yeah, if you overspice any menu, it just it's not that pleasant anymore. So let's say I like to do glissando to make it a little emotional, but instead of if I did glissando everywhere because I'm so in love with glissando, it would sound like this. It's a bit much, isn't it? It's like. Uh, so yeah, we have to use it just delicately enough so it sounds beautiful enough. So I choose to play beginning. A little. Now here I do less. Then here again. Then I do a little, a little more. Now here I go long. Now, now I'm. Yeah? So if you use this glissando tool just right, it can just make your, your performance very special and it touches everybody's heart. And that's moment when the audience just sit in a concert hall or in the hall where you're performing and they don't want to leave. And that means you want their heart. Yeah? So use it right and have lots of fun with this glissando technique. I hope this video was helpful and happy practicing. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.